God grant the living grace, the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen and the Commonwealth and to all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and to all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. God of creation, we thank you for the world you have made and all its beauty and diversity. We praise you for making us in your image, for all that's good about us and about your world. We thank you for the people and places that enrich our lives. 
Heavenly Father, giver of joy, hear our prayer. God of eternity, we remember with gratitude all who have given their lives for our freedom. We particularly remember those from our own city of Exeter. As we remember their sacrifice, we remember too the sacrifice of your only son, Jesus Christ, to win our eternal freedom. May we go forward with confidence because of all that you have done. Heavenly Father, giver of life, hear our prayer. God of victory, we thank you that 75 years ago, victory was won over the forces of tyranny in Europe and Japan. We thank you for the freedom that we have enjoyed since then. Please help us to use our freedom in the service of others. We pray for the leaders of this world, that they may lead us in peace and goodness and harmony. Heavenly Father, giver of freedom, hear our prayer. God of mercy, we pray for those whose everyday lives are affected by war and those who have lost their loved ones, their homes and their security through conflict. Protect those who are serving in our armed forces today, their friends and their families left at home. Comfort those who grieve the loss of loved ones and those who have sustained life-changing injuries. Heavenly Father, giver of peace, hear our prayer. God of peace, during these difficult and dark days of coronavirus, give us the light of hope. Bless those who are working with our health service with stamina and cheerfulness. Grant success to those who are trying to find a vaccine. Give to our political leaders at home and abroad the wisdom to govern well. Heavenly Father, giver of wisdom, hear our prayer. God of all comfort, we turn to you. Help us, especially when we're feeling vulnerable or afraid, that we might know your presence with us. We remember your promise that one day through Jesus, you will wipe away every tear. Help us to live in the light of that day. Heavenly Father, giver of hope, hear our prayer. The reading comes from Matthew chapter 5. 
When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And now let us pray with confidence as our Saviour Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Good morning. My name is Peter Holland. I'm councillor for St Lloyd's Ward in the city of Exeter and I'm Lord Mayor of Exeter. It is with much sadness that Exeter City Council is unable to commemorate Remembrance Sunday at Northern Hay Gardens in the way that we had before. The coronavirus pandemic continues to frustrate our plans and that for the first time ever, and in the interests of public safety, we have made the difficult decision to change the format. We will join with Devon County Council, supported by the Six Rifles, who routinely hold their service at our beloved cathedral and hold a virtual ceremony to mark Remembrance Sunday 2020. This will be the first time that the City Service and the County Service will have come together to mark this poignant occasion. During these unprecedented times, I would like you to join me in remembering those who died fighting for our country, especially during World War I and World War II, but remember also those who sadly died from COVID-19 and those that died protecting the nation from it. All of these men and women were there for us when we needed them most, serving with compassion and professionalism. Time passes, but one thing has stayed the same, the unwavering dedication of the people of Exeter and wider Devon community who have been at the forefront of supporting one another since the beginning of time. It makes me extremely proud to be Lord Mayor of this great city. Today is Remembrance Day and a really important date in our national calendar. It's a day when we remember those who died in the First World War, those who died in the Second World War, and in all the subsequent conflicts in which we as a nation have been involved. And believe it or not, there are very few years in that time since 1945, when we as a country have not been engaged in overseas conflict. In Devon, we have a proud military tradition. And over the years, Devonians have been involved in most of the conflicts and they have distinguished themselves. So it is right that we remember them, but it's also right that we remember what they died for. They died for us as a nation, for our freedom, for our prosperity and for our future. And for that, we are very grateful. We must remember that many are serving today and we still have many people in this county uh, in all three services. So we thank them too for their continuing service uh, both for this county and for this country and we remember them together with those who have gone before. This year has been a special year, a year which is the 75th anniversary 
of victory in Europe and also the 75th anniversary of victory against Japan. And in addition, it is 80 years since the Battle of Britain, that really important conflict which probably secured our survival during the last war. But it's also been a year when it's been really difficult to uh, celebrate and commemorate events. We've had the coronavirus keeping us at home and this is therefore a year when we have to remember from home and not in the usual parades which we have become accustomed to.